What is a personal brand and how to build one? Coming up. So guys, one of the most discussed topics of this year is about personal branding and how to leverage your personal brand to make money online. And I think the tipping point came around the end of last year when fellow digital marketing online influencer Iman Gatti published his uh, Influencer Ignited course on how to make your name a six-figure business. But personal branding has actually been here for such a long time. Like if you uh, search it on YouTube, you'll find videos ranging back from like six years ago. So it's been here for years, but there's still so many people that don't know what it is or means. So basically a personal brand is really simple. It's you. You are your own personal brand. You know, whatever age, position or whatever business you happen to be in, you are your own personal brand. You are like the CEO of your own company, Me Incorporated. To be in business today, your most important task is to be head marketer of a brand called you, you know, yourself. You need to be able to position yourself in such a way that amplifies what you stand for and what you believe in. It's all about knowing like, who you are, what you stand for, and just making that visible. It's about like, showing your skills and your passion, and this is just key for being successful in this day and age. And I truly believe that uh, your reputation, like online and offline, might even be like, more impactful than your CV or resume. Like for example, a few weeks back, I went to London for a business meeting for Brand Panier and the way I got that meme was actually through my personal brand as well like they already followed me from like my JD Fitness days I used to have like prior to Brand Panier, I had an online coaching business called JD Fitness and like a few of the staff members already followed that account and that website and like they followed my journey on that so they already knew about my personal brand and then like they needed someone to like, to manage their social media and you know like I, I they already knew who I was basically and all they wanted to know was a bit more about Brand Panier, but other than that they already knew what I, I stood for, what my passion was, how good I was by like, you know building a brand online. So it was an easy decision for them to invite me over to London. Second example is like two clients that actually signed with Brand Panier this week. Both clients from the US, you know, complete different parts of America, but uh, nevertheless, I like, uh, came in contact with them and they accepted to work with Brand Panier and me to take them on as clients because of my personal brand. They, they see my YouTube channel, they see my Instagram account, and they could see the quality I could bring to them, to their company, to their, to their online reputation, and they knew that I could leverage social media to earn them more money online, so that is why they allow me to take them on as clients for Brand Panier. And the last example, a small little example, yesterday I had a meeting with a client that already signed with me and basically they've got a few ambassadors and affiliates and you know like team members and they were all there yesterday as well and one of them actually came up to me and said like, I already know who you are, I already follow you on like Instagram and social media and stuff like that. Like he already knew me because of my personal brand, which is weird because like I've never met this guy before in my life and he actually knew a lot about me. He already knew that like I made the switch from fitness to to business and like he, he, he was really enjoying the way I documented my journey, which is it's you know really cool to, to see to be honest that people actually take notice of what I'm doing. So I hope that sort of uh, gives you an idea of what a personal brand is now for step two, how to actually grow it. I think that the first step in growing your personal brand is actually that you need to acknowledge that you've already got one. Like I hear people saying like, oh yeah, I'm gonna start a personal brand soon. No, like you've already got a personal brand. You know, your Instagram shows your personal brand like if you put photos of you going to town or you know getting up to all kinds with your mates and that is your personal brand your personal brand is what like outgoing party boy but like, you know nevertheless that is your personal brand step two for growing a personal brand is self-reflection figure out what your strengths are like where you are and what you've achieved up until now you know like what is your story write it down memorize it you know practice it you need to like master the art of storytelling and your story to be precise step three is self-assessment so how do you perceive yourself and how do others perceive you or how do you want to be perceived by others and is your like online reputation is that in line with how you want others to perceive you but don't pretend to be someone that you're not like I see so many people out there that uh, showing this or like the trying to portray this like successful lifestyle and to be honest like 
but within it's only a matter of time before these people get exposed you know be yourself try and show where you are like in you know the stage of your journey like that is why i'm trying to show you guys how i'm building my business rather than pretend like oh yeah i've got a successful business no i'm not trying to say that i'm showing you how i'm building my business you know my business is not nowhere near six figures you know it's not a successful business just yet i'm just starting out and i'm showing you guys how i'm building it you know be transparent show people who you are like really authentically don't try and pretend that you're someone that you're not step four in growing a personal brand is amplify once you know your message once you know what you stand for then tell it to the world tell it to everyone you know like make sure that every message you put out online or offline is in line with what with your message and what you believe in and like maybe it's not like the most popular thing that uh, like nowadays entrepreneurship is very very popular online but if that is not something that you're passionate about or something that's part of you then don't pretend that you're that person you know just stick to your guns and uh, tell people your story and your vision and in the long run like you will build like, a really strong tribe and community around your personal brand and my last tip for building a personal brand is just to let it evolve you know like, we all we, we change you know we grow older we we, we, you know, we, we get more skills and experiences and uh, it's really important to let your personal brand do the same. Let it evolve. You know, don't let it grow stale. You know, let it like grow with you as you're growing. Try new things, you know, like seek new experiences and just let it like learn and grow and evolve while you know being your authentic self and with that said i do want to wrap up this video here let me know in the comments down below if you got some out of this video and also like i am really passionate about making brand Panier a movement a tribe a community so if you made it to the end of the video leave your instagram username in the comments down below and i will make sure to follow you guys thanks for watching like the video if you liked it subscribe to the channel for more and i hope to see you soon gotta do what i gotta do